Hey everybody, this is Dave Altavella for HotHardware.com here with the first Windows RT based tablet to hit our labs. This is the Asus Vivo Tab RT. It is based on Windows 8 for ARM essentially, but uh, branded Windows RT by Microsoft. It's a 10.1 inch slate and it's driven by an NVIDIA quad core Tegra 3 chip at 1.3 gigahertz with onboard 12 core NVIDIA graphics. Uh, has 2 gig of DDR3 system memory and uh, 32 and 64 gig internal storage variants. Here you're looking at the 32 gig version with its companion keyboard dock. 32 gig versions retail for 599, 64 gig versions of the Vivo Tab RT with dock are 699. The dock has one USB 2 port and the tablet has one micro HDMI port and that's it in terms of connectivity with the exception of the standard sync and charge port that's in the tablet as well as the dock. 802.11bgn wireless and Bluetooth 4.0 are on board. There is an 8 megapixel rear facing autofocus camera with LED flash in the back and a 2 megapixel front facing webcam. Uh, screen size again 10.1 inch and uh, the camera will capture 1080p resolution. Resolution for the screen is 1366 by 768. This is ASUS's patented Super IPS Plus display with 600 nits of brightness. Again, Windows RT, the operating system, 3 and 4G uh, LTE capabilities are optional on this device. And this tablet actually is a Wi-Fi only model. And the battery on board is a 25 watt hour battery uh, with a 22 watt hour battery in the dock. Um, uh, eight plus hours of uh, uptime is claimed for the tablet itself. 14 plus hours of uptime claimed for the tablet and dock combination together. And uh, this is a very thin and light tablet. Uh, looks a lot like the Transformer series of uh, Android tablets from Asus. Let's take a look around a little bit and uh, show you what it's made of. All right, so again here we've got the tablet mounted in its companion keyboard dock. And incidentally, this is the AC power adapter and sync and charge cable that come with the unit. Allows you to charge the tablet or the dock or both combined and also allows you to interface the tablet or both combined to your computer via USB. This is a proprietary Asus connector on the other end here. Uh, if you would like to release the tablet from the dock, just push down on the button here in the left side of the tablet and uh, now you are released and uh, full tablet mode is invoked here on the bottom you've got a couple of mounting holes as well as that standard uh, sync and charge port right there again that's Asus proprietary connector um, on the right side of the tablet volume rocker right there two-in-one headphone jack top side of the tablet power button as well as a very small reset pinhole right there and on the left edge You've got a micro HDMI port right behind this little door and a micro SD card slot right there and that release switch for the keyboard dock. Uh, and on the back, you've got that 8 megapixel rear facing uh, autofocus camera with flash, uh, LED flash. And on the front, you've got that 2 megapixel front facing webcam. And taking a quick look at the keyboard dock, a fairly sparse offering to be honest here. This is a standard chiclet style netbook sized keyboard. Really cramped if you have even average sized hands. Uh, but keycaps have good tactile response and a fair amount of travel so not bad. A little bit of a learning curve getting up to speed typing on this thing though. Uh, ample sized uh, touchpad area with two button control and mu multi gesture support. You do have a windows button standard as well and a menu button over here that will help with additional functionality for Windows RT and Windows 8. On the right side, here is a USB 2 port, and uh, that's really about it. Over here is your sync and charge port, and uh, another small pinhole for reset functionality. Asus does include this USB dongle that you plug into the sync and charge port on the bottom of the device, which allows USB connectivity to the tablet. All right, so let's give you a quick sense of boot time. We'll go ahead and hit the power button here on the Asus Vivo Tab RT. Please do not mind the reflections in the black screen as we're booting up here. As you can see, the ASUS logo comes up. And uh, you'll notice that the tablet actually boots fairly quickly. It's a little bit faster than the average Android slate uh, based on the same platform, actually, the uh, same Tegra 3 chip, uh, for example, in the ASUS Transformer Prime series of 10-inch uh, slates. 
we are going to get to the Windows Metro interface here in about 25 seconds, which is pretty nimble. Now, obviously, Microsoft has taken a lot of heat for the radical departure of the Windows 8 and Windows RT user interface versus previous generation Windows user interfaces of old. And there's no question, the Metro user interface is very different. It is touch-centric, it is tile-based, and if you don't know a few basic gestures and commands, you will have a little bit of a learning curve. You will sort of be stymied at first if you uh, don't know some just basic gestures and commands. However, once you do learn those very few, you know, half a dozen or so gestures, you'll see just how efficient, fast, and fluid the operating system is. So let's go ahead and go through those now. This is the Windows Metro Start screen. Capacitive touch button down here will always get you back to that. It's a little Windows Start button that will always get you back to the Start screen. Let's show you, we swipe in from the right here and we bring up the charms toolbar as well as the clock and calendar, Wi-Fi and battery level indicator over here, charms toolbar over here, you've got a settings button, you've got devices, start, share, which is for your social networks, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff when you're in an app if you want to share out that screen or some content from the app, as well as the search button, which works the same way. You can search the tablet or you can search uh, via an application, like for example, Internet Explorer, uh, you can search via Bing. So pretty standard, but again, that's the charms swipe in from the right. Now, multitasking is absolutely a huge strength for Windows 8 and Windows RT. And let's go ahead and show you that. Let's swipe through some apps that we have running in the background right now. As you can see, very fast, very fluid. We've got uh, Internet Explorer going here. We can swipe in the Pandora radio station app for Windows 8, Windows RT. This is the Bing Travel app, and we're back in Internet Explorer. Now we can go ahead and share this foreground window with another app just by bringing it in here from the left, stopping. It uh, now moves into a secondary uh, portion of the screen. The primary portion is the foreground running app. And we can cycle through apps in the foreground while that shared tile uh, secondary app is running in the background. Okay, now we can bring this back, get back to a, a full screen for Internet Explorer, and if we want, we swipe back to the left, we can see all the apps we have actually running in the background over here, and we can cycle through them this way as well. For example, I can touch Bing Travel and bang them into Bing Travel. So pretty impressive application switching here. Let's go ahead back to Internet Explorer and we can show you we just got through pulling up the Internet Explorer URL bar here um, just by swiping up from the bottom and you can go through tiles of pages that you have open currently up top here. Touch the toolbar brings up the keyboard. It also brings up your history right here and you can cycle through any of the uh, sites you've been through in your history. So pretty efficient stuff there as well. Again, just with a few simple gestures uh, in Internet Explorer. Now in Internet Explorer, obviously some basic gestures are here and they're fairly standard and common between a lot of tablets these days. You've got pinch and zoom available, of course. You've got scrolling and uh, two finger scrolling for left and right and up and down. And as you can see, very responsive. And also reorientation is very responsive. And what's more impressive, as you can see right there, the tablet re-renders the image very quickly. Okay, once we get that orientation, um, it actually renders the screen and you don't see any screen redraw at all. It just pops in, which is pretty darn impressive and better than what we've seen from most Android slates and a lot more like we see from uh, Apple's iPad series. Now, in addition to the NVIDIA Tegra 3 quad-core ARM SoC and the 2 gig of RAM on board this tablet, the reason why Windows 8 and Windows RT is so responsive is that Microsoft has developed a new method of handling applications, whether they be in the background or in the foreground, and putting applications to sleep rather than killing them uh, or letting them run full bore all at once. And so it's, it's actually a very efficient, and as you'll see, we'll switch to desktop mode here. And uh, also with this tablet, by the way, um, Microsoft has bundled with Asus uh, Microsoft Office 13 for Windows RT, uh, Home Edition and Student Edition. And so we've got here in uh, the standard desktop mode here with Windows RT, we've got Word, we've got Microsoft um, Excel as well as Microsoft Publisher running all here on the desktop. And then we've got the Task Manager here and you can see uh, also, we've got a bunch of apps running. We've got um, the Bing News app. We've got um, Pandora running and Internet Explorer running, as well as the desktop 
and Task Manager and uh, all the apps in Office running right now all simultaneously. And as you can see, uh, all of the apps are listed here in Task Manager, but they're not using a lot of resources. 0% CPU, 53% memory currently. Let's click to the Performance tab real quick, and you can see currently the CPU is idling at uh, under a gigahertz, about 640, 700 uh, megahertz to be exact, and only about 50% memory. And that's because all of these applications are not technically running at once. They're in the background and asleep, and if we just swipe in, they come to the foreground, activate, and begin to consume resources. But until then, they're idle and in a sleep state. And so very efficient um, resource management, memory management, and CPU resource management with Windows 8 and Windows RT. And of course, equally as important to any tablet or smartphone device is the software ecosystem behind it. And in addition to things like an email app, the web browser, a music player app, or the standard utilities that will come with a Windows RT device, Microsoft's Store is available, and uh, that is competitive to things like Google Play and Apple's iTunes. And it is a fledgling effort, we would say, right now currently, with not a whole lot of titles available. Um, but Microsoft uh, promises a deluge, quote-unquote, of applications coming to the store. Um, but here we've got things like uh, Spotlight apps from PopSci, Asus Pix, uh, Netflix, Games, social media apps, um, and as you can see, entertainment, photos music and video, lots of different things available here. We've gone ahead and installed a game app that we'll go ahead and pull up um, and uh, we'll fire that up now. It's called Hydro Thunder Hurricane. And um, incidentally, the tablet does support uh, wireless Xbox controllers or USB Xbox controllers. Um, we were not able to get ours configured currently um, working properly through the USB connectivity of the device, but um, we may be having our own issues there and it might not actually be a hardware problem. But let's go ahead and show you Hydro Thunder Hurricane. And uh, we'll go ahead and fire it up. As you can see, loading pretty quickly here. And uh, the graphics, again, driven by NVIDIA's Tegra 3 quad core processor with onboard 12 core NVIDIA GPU engine. Uh, as you can see, uh, pretty darn good, especially in a tablet device. Uh, nice water reflections. A little bit of geometry there with some flying debris. And as you can see, very fluid, good frame rates. I'll go ahead and bust some things up for you here so you can see how it reacts. There's some uh, water effects uh, on the lens there, the camera. So, so pretty good stuff. And this is again, Hydro Thunder Hurricane. And that is currently available for $9.99 on the Microsoft Store. A little bit on the pricey side, to be honest, but, uh, but not too bad. And, and impressive graphics, again, for tablet-based gaming. And this has been a quick look at the Asus VivoTab RT, Windows RT tablet. I'm Dave Altavilla for Hot Hydro. Make sure you stop by our site for the full review. Thanks for stopping by.